Hey guys, welcome back to the shop for another exciting new machine day. And let me introduce to you my very first CNC machine in my shop, and for any of my shops for that matter, the Miltronics USA ML16 lathe. I am so excited about this. I almost don't even know what to say about this. I'm so stoked and so humbled that I actually have my first CNC machine sitting in my shop right here. This is just so exciting for me, and uh, I really just don't know what to say. But let me begin by telling you that I'm excited to announce that I have worked out a great partnership with Miltronics USA. We have been in discussions for quite a while now on how both of us could work together for Miltronics to help and provide some machinery in here in the shop for me to start learning on. You know, I am ready. I am ready to start walking down that path of CNC machining, learning how to CNC machine everything from CAD and CAM and making actual parts on the machine. You know, that's a, that's a skill that I don't have yet. I've been in manual machining for 25 years now. I know my way around a manual lathe, a manual mill, and industrial repair. And I have just got to the point where I am ready to continue my education and learn how to use CNC machines to my capabilities. I want to say that my plan is to not completely replace what it is I do with CNC machines. I am simply adding this capability to my shop and my skill set. I'm always going to be in the industrial repair. We're, also, we're always going to be doing one-off parts and maybe even small production runs. And I also want to have a lot of fun with this and be able to share my story with you of starting from the ground up, learning how to do CNC machining. So Miltronics, they wanted to step up and help be a part of that story, and they are providing not one, but two CNC machines here to the shop, and I'm just so excited about that. So the first one, obviously, being the ML16, this is going to give us our uh, turning and uh, threading capabilities you know, that a lathe gives you. They are also going to be providing a CNC mill as well. Now, that one wasn't quite ready. They're still uh, trying to get that particular machine acquired. Um, you know, there's been a lot of delays the past couple of years and every machine manufacturer is dealing with the same problem. So uh, they had this guy ready. This is actually one of their uh, floor demo models from their, uh, from their facility. And since they had this one ready to go, they decided to go ahead and uh, send this one down. It is a new machine. It was only used for demonstration purposes on their showroom. Uh, so it, it doesn't have any wear on it. It was very lightly minimal use. So it is still a brand new machine. All right. And then hopefully maybe within another month or two, they're going to have the uh, CNC mill uh, ready to ship down here as well. And whenever that happens, I'm definitely going to have the camera and we're going to show the exciting, you know, unloading, getting it in here and getting it set up as as well. So just uh, so excited about that. I am uh, I'm ready for this. I'm ready to start my training and learning and figuring this stuff out so that I can use these machines to my uh, uh, capabilities there to help uh, produce even better parts than what I'm capable of doing now, okay? So I wanted to mention that the uh, ML16 is both a conversational and programmable machine. So you can use it in the uh, conversational setting. I have not used that yet, that I haven't touched these machines, but you can use it for conversational, or you can come over here and program it or, you know, stick your card in there and have a program already preset and get in there and get to work and start making parts. All of what it is that I have to learn and uh, part of the story that I, that I hope to be able to share with you here on my channel. All right. So a uh, big thanks to Miltronics USA. Everybody up there that I have been uh, talking with have been excellent. And uh, just a big thank you to all of the folks there at Miltronics. This is really exciting for me. I'm very humbled by this. And uh, I really want to try to prove myself that I can jump in here and I can learn this just like anybody else can and start adding some new capabilities and some new content here for the channel as well. A little bit of mix of everything that I do from the industrial repair, uh, manual machining, fabrication, welding, and hopefully very soon CNC machining as well. All right. So with saying that, I want to go ahead and jump to all of our unloading video and getting it in here, getting it set in place. There's some things that I had to do to kind of get the doors ready and everything for, you know, to get the machine ready to be hooked up in use. 
So we're going to go ahead and jump to that right now. All right. So we have the guys from Southway Crane and Rigging coming back to do the job there. This is the company that helped me uh, unload and install the American Pacemaker lathe. This is a different crane that they're using from the last, uh, the last job that they came and did. We'll go around and take a quick look at it. I believe this is a link belt. All right, so here's the plan. We're still waiting on the truck and they're gonna be using a crane to unload it, obviously. There's supposed to be a, there's supposed to be a lifting lug or a lifting eye for this lathe that a crane can hook to or you can use a forklift. They wanted to use the crane, pick it up, set it in the door, and then use the skates to move it into place, all right? So I'm just trying to get everything ready now. And what we're gonna do is come into the shop with it right here. I'm moving all this stuff out of the way. And this is where the CNC lathe is going to go. That's why I've had um, these tape marks here. This is supposed to be sort of the overall entire footprint of it, including the enclosure. So this is the plan is to put it right here. And why I talked about before, I was trying to maximize as much space by pushing the pacemaker over so that we could utilize this area a little bit more. Obviously, we have to be clear of the electrical panel there as well. So that should be pretty good right in here. We're going to get all this stuff moved out of the way. And uh, hopefully pretty soon we're going to be seeing the new lathe come in. There's our truck driver right there. That's a pretty blue truck. Marcus is gonna direct them to try to minimize the impact on the traffic through here and uh, get them to pull up and they're gonna get, try to get their rigging figured out. Um, and then once they have that ready, they'll have the truck back up close to the crane. At that point, they're gonna have to cut down traffic coming through and then they'll start to lift. Let's see if we're gonna get our first peek at the new Miltronics CNC lathe. There it is. There she is. Can you see the smile on my face? <laughs> wow, that is, that is awesome. So what the guys are gonna do, the, uh, the machine is mounted to a iron skid, which is a channel iron skid. They're gonna strap to the, to the skid and lift it and set it off in front of the door and then they'll work on getting it lifted up off of the uh, it's good at that point. They've got a spreader bar hooked to the crane up there, to spread the load, and they're gonna attach to the, the skid that the machine's mounted to and uh, pick it up. Hopefully they'll, that'll work out pretty good and they'll get it set right over here in the doorway.
some good progress. We got her in the doorway. All right, they've done a good job of getting it in here. And I think what we're gonna end up doing is over here where the machine was gonna go, this is where it's gonna go. I was planning on positioning it this way, but I think it actually work out a little bit better if we position it that way. I've got the tape measure kind of laid out. It's still gonna be a little tired and I want her on this side or over here, but it will fit and it'll put the front of the machine out this way. If I need to, I can scoot the pacemaker over a little bit more later to kind of give a little more room right there, but I think we may put it right here. Oh, this one's coming off up here. All right, they're getting real close. The uh, the crew just, uh, they stopped for their lunch break. They're gonna grab, grab them a bite to eat. And when they get back, we're gonna finish getting this guy in place. It was a bit of a job getting the uh, skid out from underneath it. It took a little while. I didn't get any video of that because it was just a lot going on there and uh, it took a while. So they finally got it out. There was a lot of shimmying and lifting and moving and finally getting it out. But they've got it sitting down on some machinery skates. I believe they're gonna lower it. This, is, this was uh, cribbed up to get that, uh, that skid out from underneath it. And there, that's the uh, chip pan right there that they removed so they could get under here and access a little bit easier. All right. And you know, I'm I'm still not 100% on which way I want this uh, machine setting. Uh, today I was thinking maybe I was gonna change my mind and put it against this wall, but I think I've already changed my mind again and I think we're gonna go ahead and go with our original plan and putting it back here along this wall to where the Miltronics and the pacemaker are, are facing each other. I think it may end up working better for me as far as the space that I have right here. It's gonna be real close uh, to the pacemaker. We can move this over a little bit more if we need to, but I'd like to kind of leave it where it's at. Um, I, th I think it's just gonna be real tight right here and the distance that it's coming out because I need access behind it as well. I think that it just may end up working better with my original plan of putting it right here, I think. so. What I would like to do, since they've got it kind of in that position going this way, I'd like to go ahead and just move it over here and get it into position where I think it needs to be and check it and see if I think that's gonna work. And then that way, if I think we need to move it, we can just simply move it around here. Um, but we'll try that first. The only issue I really see with that is accessing the through spindle right here, but uh, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna need to be putting long bar stock in there or not. That's gonna be the only problem. But I think because of where it's gonna go, I'm gonna have to limit myself to the idea that we're only gonna be putting work pieces in from this side of the machine into the chuck instead of long pieces. I think that's just something that I'm gonna have to sacrifice in this situation here because of the, the space that I've got. But man, what a beautiful machine. I am so excited to see this guy here. I love the colors the blue and the black and the green, man, it just looks great. Such a beautiful machine and I am really excited to be able to get this guy hooked up running and learn how to operate this and start making some really cool parts on this lathe. I went ahead and did a little bit of laying out with some blue tape to kind of serve as a visual reference of where the, uh, the footprint of the machine should be sitting. And some of you guys might've seen these tape marks. They've been down there for a while the black tape marks and that was uh, my intentions of laying it out to try to visualize the space that it's going to take up. So this kind of give you an idea of how much space we have in between the two machines there. That's going to be the front. The uh, plus a little bit for the controllers that's sticking out. So the controllers are going to come out a little bit further. So that should allow us enough room right here to uh, work and it's going to give us three foot 
behind the machine to be able to access that big panel there and be able to get in behind it. And three foot over here on this side as well. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, let me come in there and take a look. All right, I think we got her in the position that it's gonna live in right there. They're gonna get it down off the uh, jacks. Here's the leveling pads that came equipped. You see, you got your three-point contact there. Got a hole through the center in case you wanna anchor it. And it'll center up on that drilled section there. So we'll get it set down on those. All right, this ends down. They're almost home free here. All right, they've got it setting down on the leveling pads. It is ready to, ready to go, except for getting it leveled in, which we'll do real soon.
That is a bison three jaw chuck on there.
All right, guys, I think that's going to conclude our Miltronics uh, ML16 unveil video here. The next steps that I want to take from here is to actually get in here and uh, give the machine, actually give the whole machine a good cleaning. It, it needs a good wipe down. There's some dust that's kind of settled in here from the transportation and getting it set up. So everything needs a good cleaning. I'm going to do that off camera, get it all spick and span here and uh, clean the ways off. I'll re-oil everything as needed. I'm also going to do a rough level on the machine and get it uh, very close and ready for once the machine is under power because uh, once you get the machine hooked up and it's ready to go, that's when you need to do your final leveling with your, um, with your master precision level. We'll have to traverse the carriage to each side of the lathe right there, each end of the bedways, and make sure that we don't have any twisting in there and try to get it absolutely as straight as an arrow as we can using our level. Uh, but that will be coming later. Once the machine is ready to go and we have our electricity to it and we have our shop air supply to it, uh, Miltronics plans on coming down and doing the actual initial uh, installation, they call it, of the machine. And that's when they're supposed to be uh, providing some um, basic training for me so that I'll know how to operate the machine. But I believe that I'm going to be at some point doing some training with Miltronics on how to operate these machines. I don't know when that's going to happen yet. Uh, but I will say that I am working on plans for the summer to actually do some more CNC training from, from a different source, just basic CNC training and uh, I'm going to be working on that. That'll be another exciting video or series to share with you uh, whenever we get to that. So I want to thank Miltronics USA once again for uh, deciding to work with me on this. I am very uh, thankful and I'm very excited to uh, start this path and uh, also share that with all of my audience here that has interest in watching these videos. And I can't wait for the day to start making some really cool parts with our new ML16 lathe. We'll see you guys later.